I get a witness, a new shebang swing coming from my off, so check this. It's time I wake up and take heed to what I'm saying. Put your time in and it shouldn't be no delaying. Go for the tile and watch you hear the bell ring. Be like the little train. I think I can, I think I can. See, here, he here, he step up and place your beard. Hey, your wine is, take me to the bridge. So let him talk, talk about you. It's yeah. okay, Come I on. see baby. Welcome to the Stephanie Smith Show. On our show this evening, we have Pastors Frank Tillman and Leslie Sandage. We have Chef Keith and his assistant Rhonda and our DJ Jay Pelusi, and also two hip hop videos for you. One is Young Joseph and the other one is Bum. We also have a guest host with us and that is Dana Barnett. So stay there. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back right after this. Go ahead DJ, take it away. Yes, but I see you don't have a college degree. Well, no, but Okay, I can... well... Wait, wait. Before you skip over me, can you at least hear me out? No, I do not have a college degree, but I've been working two jobs since the age of 18. I've been doing internships while raising my little brother, and any moment that I can spare, I'm studying, just, just trying to better myself. Okay, I'm ready for this. Wow. I'd love to hear more. Look beyond the resume and discover new ways to develop great talent at gradsoflife.org. Everything starts out small. The things that hurt us, they all start from somewhere. The words we say, the things we do, that can grow into something else. What was small and innocent can become big and sometimes scary. All it takes is one comment, one picture, one video for something to catch fire. But a big problem doesn't need a big response. Not at first. Even if we don't know what to say, the eye emoji can be that first step we take. Let's all pledge to take that first small step together and change the world in a big way. I am a witness, and so are you. Once again, I thank the Lord for Chef Keith and his assistant Rhonda. Both are from Bidwell Training Center. So we thank them for being here today. What is on the menu? First of all, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, today on the menu is an Israeli couscous. I call it Chef Keith's Couscous Salad. And a lot of people are intimidated by you eating couscous, uh, but we're gonna show you a delicious way to prepare couscous. Uh, you can do it at home, okay? Um, Rhonda, would you like to start uh, showing? We're gonna get, get going on the recipe here. Sure. Okay. So you want to start chopping? Hi, Rhonda. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good. This recipe I made when I was, uh, I, I created when I was at the hotel. We, what we found out was a lot of people are eating healthier uh, with less salts and, and so forth. So we're today we're going to make this couscous salad. We're actually going to add, infuse some fruits and some fresh herbs and a lot of vegetables. There's going to be a contrast of flavors uh, that actually explodes in your mouth, believe it or not. Uh, every time I've, I've served this dish, people are excited. They can't, they, how do I make it? What's in it? So today we decided to share this recipe. It's a good summertime recipe for you. And uh, we're actually excited to, show, to, to, to share it with you. Okay. So I see she's cutting up the onions here. Okay. So I, I need to assume that onions go in it. Absolutely. Okay. So, else okay. So while you're while, while she's cutting the onions, I want to talk to you about couscous. It actually originated in North Africa, and uh, it is prepared uh, in, in a lot of meats and vegetables. 
and so forth. Uh, but we, there's two different type of couscous that we usually use in the industry. There's an instant couscous, which which pretty much <laughs> came out a little bit, which, yeah. which actually uh, you just pour boiling liquid over it and it's already cooked. And there's an Israeli couscous, which sort of you have to cook like pasta. Okay, it's a little bit more chewy, uh, but it, it it has that same uh, taste. It has the taste of a uh, an unmistakable, delicious, nutty, high fiber taste to it. Okay. You to said, excuse me, Keith. You said something there. You said the high fiber. High fiber. A lot of times people are on a high fiber. Diet. Right, 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 right. So you would recommend? You absolutely, know, absolutely, okay, okay. absolutely. And which one do you like best, the instant? Uh, or I the like the instant uh -huh. because it's sort of foolproof. Okay. Once again, you just pour, put the couscous in. Mm -hmm. You get some boiling liquid. Today, we're actually, believe it or not, we're going to use water, and we're actually going to use apple juice. Okay. So that creates a little bit of sweetness. All apple juice is a little bit too sweet, so it'll have a faint apple sweetness taste to it in the background, okay? Rhonda, okay. you, um, you want to... Uh, wow, she's, she's getting okay. down over here. Yes, she is. So here's, the, here's, our, here's our boiling hot liquid. Yes. Okay, Rhonda, do you have the uh, couscous? The, uh, yes, it's okay. over there. Okay, so here. Okay, it's so very, very simple. It's already pre-cooked, so you put the liquid on the couscous mm -hmm. and, just let it, and just let it sit. You cover it, and it's done. Okay, it's, it's pretty simple, pretty simple. Okay. okay, don't be intimidated by eating couscous, okay? Grains and, and couscous and these things are here to stay. Uh, when I first started cooking, believe it or not, nobody ate this, uh, but now everyone is involved. Everybody's trying to eat healthier. Everyone's trying to eat less salt. Everybody's trying to use more fresh herbs. and They want to know how to do it, so that's why we decided to do that. So all you do is pour that. This is already cooked, pre-cooked. You pour the hot liquid. Once again, it is apple juice and water, okay. okay? And you cover it. That's it. That's all you do. Okay. As opposed to the other one, the, the larger grain of couscous, you have to cook it and almost treat it like pasta. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to let that cook. Okay? Okay. okay. Fantastic. Okay. You got, a, you got a whole lot of stuff over here. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, okay. So just maybe move that to the side. Yes. Okay. Yes. We're doing fantastic. Okay. So yes. Rhonda is cutting an onion right now, and I wanted to show you one thing real quick before while she's cutting the onion. Okay. Uh, everybody, I remember my mom, God bless her soul, wanting sharp knives. Okay. So I'm going to show you a, a, a very simple way to, to use to sharpen your knife. Okay. This is actually a steel. This is our French knife. Okay. Now you can use your steel. Uh, all the time. The only time you should use your stone, the tri-stone, is to once in a while, but this should be used every single time you're uh, cutting things. So what you want to do is hold this on a 22 gram angle, light, feathery strokes. You're using all parts of this uh, steel, and you're hitting all parts of the knife, okay? So light, feathery strokes. And chefs do it towards them, but my students, I recommend they do it away from themselves because you don't want to cut yourself. So what you, you do? You don't want to cut nobody else. I don't either. want to cut Ron either, right? Yeah. So uh -huh. away from yourself, okay? okay? And now what that do is tr what that does is true the edge of the knife, okay? Which which appear uh, appears to make it sharper, which makes it sharper, okay? So you're truing the edge of the knife. It gets all okay. those little burrs, all the little imperfect imp imp impurities out of there, mm -hmm. and it actually sharpens the knife, okay? You should do this almost every time you use a knife okay, okay. once again when you're um, periodically you should use the stone I didn't bring the stone today but the stone actually shaves actually shaves the metal mm -hmm. off the knife and that that actually sharpens it but this trues the edge and it, and it, and it uh, gets the little impurities impurities off and uh, makes makes the knife sharper okay, okay. all right brother Keith we're going to move on over here, and we're going to talk a little bit about what you have here. Just okay, fantastic. So, Rhonda. Okay. Yes. Hey, hey, man, what's going on? What's going on? So, Rhonda, uh, you're cutting the red onion, okay? So, uh, the... How you doing there? The red onion. Okay, okay, we're going to... Okay, so let's let's get the couscous. Sure. Okay, so in this recipe, it, it mm -hmm. goes... It calls for red onions, okay? It also calls... You can put all the onions in there. For the sake of time, TV, we're just going to put it in there. Okay, this calls for red onions. Okay, sure this calls some. for red bell peppers. Okay, that's fine. This actually calls for uh, green uh, peppers. Oh, can I get in there too? Sure. Okay. We got a lot going okay. on here. Let's get this right. in here. Yeah. We got a lot going on here. It smells good up here, sir. Yes, it yeah. does. Wait till you taste right. it. You're, it's it's like an explosion in, in your oh, yeah. mouth. 
Yes. yes, it is. <laughs> okay, so we have the peppers in there. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, you're good? Yes. Okay, now okay. we have the um, the raisins. It gets actual raisins Ooh, in there. Oh, raisins. That's, that's a lot that's of fiber. For a little sweetness. That is a lot of fiber. That's, yeah, that's a lot of, that's a lot of Fiber okay. colors in there. Uh, mm -hmm. What else goes in next, Rhonda? The, uh, uh, we have the uh, jalapenos. The jalapenos. We have the bell peppers. I mean, the banana peppers. Banana peppers. Uh, yes. Okay. That a little right bit on spicy in there. Okay. <laughs> and then we also have a little bit of um, habaneros. We have habaneros in there, habaneros? too. Habaneros? Just, just a little bit of habaneros. Just a Is dash. That hot? A dash. Yeah. Now, okay. if you take the seeds out, they're not as hot. What makes the habanero hot is the seeds. Uh, okay. okay. Whenever you're working with habaneros, you want to make sure your ha you cover your hands. You don't want to rub your eyes. You you always want to uh, be careful because the seeds are deadly. It can actually, it, you know, get that gets in your eye and you'll have some problems. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So also, okay. So everything's in there. Okay. Um. We, one thing we didn't do is we're going to make, we're going to caramelize some pine nuts, pignola nuts. Okay, we have a recipe for that. All the pignolas to get pie, uh, caramelized is we're going to take a little bit of sugar and a little mm -hmm. bit of balsamic vinegar, mm -hmm. okay, and, and bring it to a simmer. That goes mm -hmm. in here, Rhonda? Sure. Okay. okay. Now the ba balsamic and the uh, sugar. Okay. Okay. You let this come to a boil, okay? Pignola nuts. Uh, not too long ago, they were $25 a pound because someone actually has to hand pick them, <laughs> and so they're really expensive. Yeah. So we let this come to a simmer, okay? okay? Okay, once that comes to a simmer, we put the pignola nuts in here, okay? Sure. Put the pine nuts in, okay? Let that cook a minute. Okay, once that cooks, what you want to do is get a sheet pan. Uh, put some foil on the sheet pan, pour it into the, onto the pan, and let okay. it caramelize in the oven. Okay. And let that caramelize. Of course, we can't do that. Today. We can't do that here today. So, mm -hmm. very very That's, simple recipe. Okay. But if if you just listen to what I said, we also have fresh herbs. Did you put the fresh herbs in, Rhonda? Uh, no, we did not. Okay. So this once this is all complete, we're going to use some fresh herbs. Now, there's a lot of questions on fresh herbs. What mm -hmm. herbs to use? How to use them? But uh -huh. I recommend to put the herbs in at the very last. Okay. Fresh herbs are at their optimum when they're uh, when they're not cooked. Uh, and add it at the last part of the meal, okay? okay. Um, and that's what creates that fragrant, uh, vibrant taste. Today we're gonna use mint, and we're gonna use cilantro to, to brighten this up. The fresh herbs brighten this, it, it brightens everything up. Okay, so she's gonna chop that off, and it, here's what the mint and the cilantro, I need a little okay? Bit of cilantro. Okay, so here's a little bit of cilantro. Yes. Okay. okay. And we're gonna chop those up, chop those up, okay? Don't be afraid to use fresh herbs. Mm -hmm. you, if you notice, we didn't use any salt yet, okay? And that's the idea. We're trying to, everyone's trying to eat healthier. Mm -hmm. Everyone's trying to, yes. uh, to live longer. Absolutely. So uh, mm -hmm. we're trying to create healthy dishes uh, for all, us, everybody to enjoy. Okay, listen, we're gonna take a break right here and we're gonna be back with more of this recipe after this message. Got a quarter? Thank you for staying there. We are back here with Chef Keith and his assistant, his beautiful assistant, Rhonda. Uh, how's it going, Rhonda? Wonderful. Good, good. So you've been at Bidwell for? A year. All right. Tell yes. us about your experience at Bidwell. My experience at Bidwell, for one year, I've learned how to do ice carvings. Um, we've learned how to do uh, this, what I'm doing here, this is garde -Mage. Okay. I'm plating. Um, I'm making a design on the plate. We've learned that in Bidwell. Um, we also learned how to do um, vegetable carvings, fruit designs. I'm going to help like you while you're talking. Go sure. Ahead, yes. Keep going. So what mm -hmm. I'm doing here right now, um, Grab that one. this is garde mm -hmm. Simply, I just take, uh, let me just put a little garnish up here. Those are microgreens, young sprouts of uh, various creams. Okay, and we're going to taste this and we have our taste testers uh, standing by here 
Go ahead, guys. You pick that up and get what right What I'm in. doing here is it's just a balsamic glaze you use on plates to make it look decorative. Uh, you just take and you make a line. It doesn't matter how many lines you want to use. You can use, you know, one or two. I use two. Okay. And then you can take a toothpick or Pretty anything good. you have kinda. and kind of make a design just oh, upward. Okay. Something simple like that. Yeah. It's not bad at all. And I'm taking this mold and I'm taking the couscous and I'm putting it in here to make a nice solid mold. Okay. And it, you know, it, it looks like even it would be a nice summer. Yes. Mm -hmm. A yes. nice summer salad. You want yes. something different? Yes. You yeah. know, you're tired of the same mm -hmm. oh, yeah. uh, salad. Good. Let's do something different here. Very well, I want to thank, thank you both for coming. Thank it's you. been a pleasure to have you here. And uh, Chef Keith, I'm sure this won't be our last yes, time. Yes, it's been a pleasure to be here, and we'd love to come back and visit again. Thank you, and we thank, thank you. our right, friends nope. at Bidwell Train Center. Thank you. We'll be back after this message, so stay there. In your new role, we help you help. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for information on how to provide even better care for the person who once took care of you. I'm coming. 
confident, so now rise up. Tell me whom do you see? Jesus, I am he. Leave them and take me. What matters most is their safety. Peter, do me your favor and put your sword away, please. You live by it and you die by it. It's destined that they take me. This purpose I'm sent for. Yeah, I make it enjoy. When I die, you'll be insured. Copy that. For an order for remission, there have to be some bloodshed by a lamb that's spotless. But I ain't even been judged yet. They gon' spit on me and punish me. Fuck my beard, ought to make fun of me. Father God, please forgive them all, cause they'll be hurt once they know it's me. Some will turn from their wicked ways. Sadly, some will stay the same. But I'll go down in history. There won't be a greater name. Can you watch and pray for it now? different conditions this year. Wilds looking for her first career goal and off to an outstanding start. This is an Epic Studios production. Straight out the gate. I'ma tell these haters straight to their face. The use of my name, my face, because I came here to stay. I'm already on to the fakers in the games they play. I ain't tripping, I'm spitting, ripping them like paper mache. I'm grateful to say that I don't really have no opponents with this rapping. I'm napping magic, dog. My flow is the dopest. You know that you notice. Notice if you ever lose focus. Bet I'ma notice, and it's a better bet you'll get roasted. But I'ma go a different direction These kids disrespecting And I ain't gonna diss them in records I give them direction That way they still get a lesson And still feel the blessing And won't act and feel disconnected They never had no one to try to make them better and love them They life in a mess from distress And no caressing and hugging I know what it's like in them jails So I tell them I love them Instead of doing life And sending them to heavens above them Bah! I'm the one everyone counted out When they sent me upstate, I was really down and out Told myself, sit up straight, ain't nothing to pout about CO's talking greasy, they can't see me now, I'm wild now Guess I'm in demand now, they say I'm the man now Same ones who hated me, all fake shaking my hand now But I gotta let them go, I don't leave my hand out Cause every time I do, somebody ask me for a handout I stand on my own too, that's why I'm a standout Everything I go through, all part of God's plan now I say put your hands up, all I see is hands now Police saying hands up, then they be like man down Bow. I get hated for no reason, morning, noon, and evening, still standing here cheesing, just happy I'm still breathing, guess I gotta play the hand if they hand me, even when my homies all phonies and my family can't stand me, but I ain't stressing it, I'm just trying to be excellent, was raised to be obsessed with success, never be second and never let a pretend to be friend, I learned my lesson by messing with fakes that hate cause I'm great, but I earn my blessing by working until I'm hurting all day, I earn my checks and I definitely earn respect for my records, they heard my message, I'm telling these youth the truth, yeah I'm blessing them like a reverend, if I spit it then I lived it, the ones that know me will say it. Rock crowds, but never been no crowd pleaser. Cause I remain the same, play no games, and never been no clown neither. But rock a smile from that loud reefer and walk around with a 40 cow to lean like the Tower of Pisa. Writing ain't hard when you write from the heart. I go in right from the start, right from the heart. My mind probably ain't right, but I'm writing the heart. I KO these a holes, I'm the Tyson of bars. Sometimes I feel like giving up, but I don't know how, so for now I just keep getting up. I see through these people on TV who try and split us up. Bringing up my people, what that means, I'm trying to lift us up. I can sit and write a thousand albums, expressing the message, but all y'all worry about my dressing like a thousand island. All these kids see is a mess and people round and wildin'. All my messages is lesson straight from out the Bible. Great. Number one selling tie anywhere in the world. Number one selling I, I tie know, anywhere in the world. That well, shirt, you wouldn't wear that we shirt? We also have them in white and beautiful where, white. Where are the shirts made? Bangladesh. Well, it's good. We employ people in Bangladesh. It's ties? Where are the ties they made? Have to work These are too. beautiful ties. They are great ties. The ties are made in where? China? China. Ties are made in China. 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 I'm telling y'all it ain't right. Hillary and Trump then got the country in a gang fight. Democrat, Republican, they nothing but the same type. Made to split us up within this country so we can't fight. They get our soldiers and they send them over. Then sit back and split the dough up while our young people die as soon as they get diplomas. And all this time I thought we tried to raise our kids to grown us. It's time you open up your eyes and see they really own us. Well I say it's time we stand up. The plan is put the guns down now and put your hands up. Show these suckers they ain't running nothing when we stand up. But first we gotta learn to love each other. We can't bust. Huh. 
And nah, I don't just talk it, I live it Was always with breaking the law Till I got locked in the prisons Then got out and really found out That I was caught in the system And all the stuff they caught us up in Was pre-thought and predicted <laughs> Well, I won't let them have control of me I'll be what I want to be While y'all be what you told to be Ain't nobody signing me They'll never get a hold of me I'm doing it so my sons can see Exactly how you supposed to be Exactly how you supposed to be I'm just trying to be excellent. Be excellent. Be excellent. Working, until Working until I'm hurting, until all, I'm hurting all day. I'm just, I'm just trying, trying to be I'm excellent. excellent. Working until I'm hurting all day. Till I'm hurting all day. I'm just trying to be excellent. excellent. This is an Epic Studios production. We're living, reason why we're breathing, reason for the seasons that we've been given, a reason God's grace never forsakes us, cause all the mistakes are forgiven because Jesus has risen, a real chance to die, real chance at life, a real chance to find someone like Christ, it's a real chance to be completed and never defeated by the enemies deceited, now it's retreating into a me. I don't know why I feel so far from you and I don't know why I don't feel know. I don't so know. I just don't want to make you cry no more. No more, no more. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry yeah, but don't cry. don't cry. I made a change back in 09, fold life. life. I dedicated my whole life to Christ. Christ. And now I'm standing in the light that yeah, you shine. You picked me up when I was dead on the ground. You showed me it would be okay without making a sound. Jesus. And every time I think about some sin and I'm breaking your heart again, it's like I just came to tear your whole world down. You would never leave or forsake me. You would never hate me. You're the reason I keep chasing, like David after your own heart. Lord. This whole world can't keep us apart. You died for me, so I live for you. It's just trifling what I did to you. My iniquities held you bound on that tree, and you still find compassion to love someone like me. I don't know why I feel so far from you. I love you, God. I don't know why I, I know feel you really. I love you, I God. just don't want to make you cry no more. No more. Amen. Every year, 40% of all food in the U.S. never gets eaten. 40%. That's almost half the food we produce. Food waste is a serious problem. It impacts all of us. And it's expensive. Your family is throwing $1,500 a year in the trash. We're working hard to put food waste on the chopping block. And you can do the same at home. Learn how to cook it, store it, and share it. Just don't waste it. Go to savethefood.com. Calls me googly eyes. And you know you're beautiful, right? You know that? Even you are beautiful. I got bullied for wearing glasses. Share if you're against bullying. We put it out there, just took off. Three million people have shared this post. 
don't let bullies get you down. I stand with you. My <laughs> whole family's wearing glasses. I wear glasses and I'm proud. I even have the army on my team. All the kind comments brought my child joy. I don't feel thank you is enough. Thanks. And welcome back to, to Stephanie Smith Show. I have here with me two pastors, I should say one pastor and an elder. I thank and praise God, first of all, because he saved me one day and he baptized me with his Holy Ghost and I'm living for the Lord and I'm loving every day of it. On my right, I have here <laughs> Elder <laughs> Leslie Sandage. God bless you. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. And over to my left, is Pastor Frank Tillman, Jr., a long-time good friend of long mine. Long time. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you both here. Bless you. Oh, God bless your heart. I uh, uh, started this, you know, new show, Stephanie Smith Show. <laughs> All right. And uh, we just wanted to be a little diversified. All right. You know. However, as uh, men of the cloth, I uh, find it very important that we have this part in the show as well. All right. So... I just wanted uh, you all to tell people about yourselves and not so much about yourself, but what you're doing. For instance, um, what is your, your mission in the ministry, Elder? Well, my mission is to win That's souls right. for the kingdom of God and also to depopulate hell. Mm -hmm. So therefore, those is, for those that's already registered to go to hell, that we can have a ways and means of using Jesus Christ as personal Lord and Savior to have the blood applied to their life to where they can get out of that situation and go into a glorious state. Oh, right. <laughs> Woo! Wow, <laughs> my Lord. Whoa, that's fire. Gee. Amen, amen. And, you know, even though I go there, it is so true, yeah. you know, because that is the mission. Right. That is the mission. Right. And right here, Elder. My mission is to bring the attentions and the mindsets back on Christ, who is the solid rock that we stand. He is our everything. He is our ne every need. You know, yes. we have to be focused on him. Yes. He said, he whose minds are stayed on me, I will keep them in perfect peace. And that's what I believe today that we need is perfect peace as Bible believers in this world that we live in. Amen. Amen. Yes, and Praise we can God. get that only yes. through Christ Jesus. Only He's the only Christ way, Jesus. the truth is the only way. He is the way. Yes. He is the way. Yes. So it doesn't matter what you're doing, whether you are uh, a psalmist, whether you are aspiring minister mm. or in the ministry, yes. uh, whether you are a hip-hop artist or, you know, whatever you're doing, you're doing it in the kingdom. And be sure, be very sure, mm. like the song yeah. says, yes. that you are planted on that solid rock. Oh, and yes. the yes. solid rock is Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Okay? Oh, and yes. as long as you have Jesus in your life and you're about my father's business, mm. for me, you are my friend. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Now, I also was wondering about where can people find you? Meaning, where is your church? Okay. If they want to come and visit Pastor Tillman. But well, my church is located over Northside, 3128 McClure Avenue, which is just around the corner from Western Penitentiary. So when the men coming out of prison, they can go into the house of God. Amen. Oh. Wow. And I'm in Clareton at Living Waters International Church, where Bishop Thelma J. Mitchell is the presiding prelate pastor. And we start church at Sundays at 11 o'clock a.m., 377 Shaw Avenue, Clareton, PA. We have Tuesday night service at 7 p.m. And we have a Friday night service off and on as well. And Amen. we have also third Sunday, 8 a.m. service as well. <laughs> yes, ma'am. By the way, our, our, our times are at Wednesday, Bible study at 7.30, Friday night, joy night service, and then Sunday morning starting at 10 o'clock for Sunday school into the afternoon at 11 o'clock. Amen. Wow. Wow. So if you're looking for a place to go where you will find friendship and you will get fed the word, Amen. If you're in that area of Clariton, mm -hmm. please stop by there Amen. and see our elder here. Yes, ma'am. And also, if you are in the Pittsburgh area on the north side, as you have already heard, stop by and see Pastor Tillman. All right. And uh, I just want to know, is there anything that is forthcoming that you would like to let the people know about? 
Well, on May the 9th to the 11th, we're having a three-day revival being located at Trinity Church of God in Christ with the pastor is Bishop James Miles Foster. And it'll start on May the 9th, ends May the 11th. We're having a Holy Ghost Powers time. The, the, the theme of our meeting is all about the kingdom. And truly, for, for those who would like to come and be blessed and be anointed, truly uh, circle it on your calendar. Amen. Amen. And I have to mention that that is my bishop as well. <laughs> yeah, praise God. And I shall be there. Oh, yes. That's an awesome place, Bishop Foster. Um, we have in Claritin, or on my schedule, I should say, I will be at uh, New Dimensions Full Gospel Baptist Church on Warrington Avenue on the south side. I think the time is about 3 p.m. for a youth service. All about sonship is the theme. And then we have toward the end of May to the first week of June, we have our Pentecost revival, our Pentecost right. conference um, with three or four days or a whole week we'll be going. Our speakers are not confirmed yet. We know our presiding prelate, Bishop Emma Mitchell, is one of the speakers. Um, she will be there uh, along with a few others speaking during our Pentecost conference. Amen. All right, well, I thank you both for stopping by. And so Pastor, good. I'll be stopping by to see you very soon. Praise God, looking Amen. forward to it. Amen. I thank you very much. You guys stay there. Don't go away because there's more of the Stephanie Smith Show. God bless you. We'll be right back. I dare you. I dare you to change the world. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. I dare you to be somebody important. Like be a teacher. Or a reality TV star. I dare you to stand up here. To call the shots. To be a role model. An inspiration. An innovator. To be a teacher. Think you can change my life? Make me excited about science like you? Have a career that really means something? Then do it. I dare you. I see you mobbing over her. Let's go. Let's mob. Let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Hey, yo, we mobbing. Come on, girl. Let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Hey, yo, let's crawl. Hey, yo, let's crawl. Hey, let's crawl. Hey, yo, let's crawl. Boom. <laughs> I'm a retired school psychologist, and helping people was my thing. I was very independent and thought I could take care of myself. I fell, and I had to have Meals on Wheels. After my stroke, when Meals on Wheels started, I was on the other end of the stick, so to speak. Meals on Wheels, coming to my door as someone who's housebound, having someone check on me assures me that I'm not forgotten. Meals on Wheels has given me a mode of freedom that I wouldn't have otherwise. We are the clients. We are the clients. We are the clients of Meals on Wheels. America, let's do lunch. One in six seniors faces the threat of hunger, and millions more live in isolation. Drop off a hot meal and say a quick hello. Volunteer by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. Welcome back to the Stephanie Smith Show. We're going to be playing charades. This is the fun part of the show. You guys ready to play? Yeah. All right, let's yes. do it. Okay, who's first? Here we go. Face. That's pretty good. Mohawk. Clown. It's a mohawk. Clown. That's a fro. Afro. That's a. Okay. Fire. You got to tell us whether that's a movie or what it is. A song or a movie? It's a movie. Okay. Oh, okay. Movie. Uh, okay. Uh, wow. What's that dude with the eyes? Oh, that's pretty good. You, you wanted to do this, didn't you? <laughs> Chucky. No. No, it's the other scary dude. The <laughs> Give bike. us two words. Come on, this is charades. Uh, clippers. La okay. Barbershop. Yep. Hey, all right. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, who's next? <laughs> all right. 
Don't forget to give us two words, whether it's a movie, oh, okay. a song. Hey, this is Mr. Six Fingers, my friend guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, we'll say art. Okay, we'll say art. Uh, no talking. Come on, y'all. Um, let's see. Uh, Two words, one word. You gotta. Picasso. Uh, no. Uh, um. Art. Let's see. Art. Uh, wow. Collage. No. Um, art. Uh, this is tough. Oh, a painter. One. Okay, it's one. Uh huh. Okay, two of us. <laughs> one of Bob from PBS's painting. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you got one. <laughs> uh, Time's up. All right, a marker, no. paper, uh, easel, and timer. Art supplies. Mm, okay. Oh, wow. Gotcha. What? That was actually one. Art supplies? What? A marker. <gasps> that was my note. <laughs> I think pick up a marker. <laughs> 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 That's hilarious. That's that is hilarious. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you did outstanding. Oh, that was me. That's funny. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this. Give us a clue. It's a movie. All right. This is a movie, y'all. It's a classic movie. You're supposed to say two movie. words, okay. short, okay. long. It's a movie. <laughs> it's a classic movie. Okay. All right. Classic. Classic. All right, man. So. Go on with the win. I don't know how that is. There we go. This is, yeah. Ooh, rain. That's one. Purple rain. Right. Okay. Oh, wow. oh, yay. Right. Yay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, that's pick two. Okay. Do I have to draw it or can I? No. Can I, I have to draw it. No. I don't. That's only there if you need it. Okay, so <laughs> this is a song of a famous, huh? A song of a famous. Just a song. That's all. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Man in the Mirror. Got it. <laughs> Good. Well, I'll put it back in. <laughs> okay. All right. We still have a few more to go. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. This is a song. Um, okay. Okay. We got to cut. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much for tuning in to the Stephanie Smith Show. I hope that you have enjoyed it as much as we have. And we'll be back next week. Next week. So stay there and remember, let everything that has you back. Praise the Lord. Thank you and good night. Well, it's payday. Can I get a witness? A new shebang swing coming from an awesome check this. It's time I wake up and take heed to what I'm saying. Put your time in and it shouldn't be no delaying. Before the tile and once you hear the bell ring, be like the little train. I think I can, I think I can. See, here, he here, he step up and place your beard. And hey, your wine is, take me to the bridge. So let him talk, talk about it. It's yeah. okay, Come I on. see, baby.